everybody, Tudor Blanco Turgo here, and welcome back. Seeing as it's still Christmas, it's the second day of Christmas, we're going to react to Victor Tanzig's Christmas special, The Stories of Xmas. So yeah, this ought to be interesting. Uh, Victor said uh, something about, uh, something about, uh, it sort of being a special to Sodor Shorts, like a Sodor Shorts movie or something. And it's actually going to be quite interesting to see how it is. So let's begin. It was winter on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard as the holidays were fast approaching. On the Farquhar branch, they were exceptionally busy. The increased traffic proved difficult for its current roster to handle, especially after Thomas came down with a slight case of death. So Sheffield yep. was temporarily reassigned to help out. During this time, he sensed a level of desperation amongst his peers. It was as if they weren't working hard just to prove they were really useful, but out of fear, not from disappointing the passengers or the fat controller for something else entirely. All right, what's everyone so afraid of? Santa. Santa's no real dumbass. Neither are we, but that's beside the point. I'm not talking about the jolly fat man who hands out presents. I'm talking about the social analytical niceness testing algorithm. With the what? It wasn't me this time, I swear. It wasn't. Some fool had the bright idea of developing an AI that assesses everyone on the planet to see if they've been naughty or nice. How does it do that? By analyzing oh. their online activity. As you can imagine, it determined everyone was naughty. Somehow, it managed to upload itself into the body of an engine and escape. Ever since, it's huh? roamed the lines, punishing the naughty with extreme prejudice. What a load of rubbish. Yeah, yeah. I think you finally lost it, Toby. Fine, don't believe me. But if Santa comes for you, don't say you weren't warned. Humbug. Come on, Mavis, we've got work to do up at the quarry. <laughs> right, don't worry, Toby. We'll make sure to be extra good. They've got some nerve. Aye, but I'm sure they'll learn their lesson before the end of this video. Oh, I hope so. What's so funny? Just everything Toby said, evil Santa, please. And don't none of you mention Krampus in the comments. Ah, uh, it is oh. pretty silly. But you think we were too mean to Toby? No, me neither. Excuse me, do either of you have any spare change? Spare change? Wait, Where what? the hell would we keep it? Up our nose? Get out of here, you moral! <laughs> All homeless people should be shot. Agreed. A a actually not. Oh, looks like... Oh, um, there he is. Santa? Ho, ho, whoa. You've been very oh naughty, Mavis and Sheffield. I checked my list. Check it twice. I perform over a million checks every nanosecond. You're both naughty for disregarding the feelings of others. If you mean the homeless guy just now, nobody cares about him. But what about your fellow yep. engines? When you two insulted Toby, did you stop to think about his feelings? No, never. That's what I thought. Oh. Now I'm going to get Charlie on your naughty asses. <laughs> And they're going to learn their lessons now. Oh? Ah, Percy, you've been very naughty. Not just on OnlyFans, but also <laughs> on Discord. She said she was 18. No, she didn't. And neither did any of the others. Enjoy hell, you creep humbug. <laughs> Oh my. Oh, 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 oh. oh my! And now for you two, what? No. Where'd they go? Ah, no matter. And they ran away. Hunt them down and spread some Yuletide cheer in the process. And spread he did. During his search for Mavis oh, and Sheffield, God. Santa wiped out the naughty wherever he found them. He took great delight in his macabre directive, I, I, all the I while. hope that they'll be back Violent in the next. Silent night. Where's he taking him? All are slain. Oh my God! Countless corpses. Tis the season to be horrid. Guarding down these hapless fellows. It was sickening how good of a time this psychotic engine was having. Nobody was safe. Even I wasn't spared. Oh! Wait, what? That was for killing off so many characters in season five. All right. Yep, he did kill off a lot of characters in season five. There was Jeffrey, Mr. Halifax, Peter, Mr. Zorro, 
Benson, Thomas, and Mickey. So that's a lot of characters. That's like seven characters when the average season would kill off out two or three. So th that's a lot. And uh, to be honest, I still really don't like the idea of Thomas being killed off. I really don't. Um... I'm, I, I still really think killing Thomas off was a very bad idea, but maybe he'll come back to life somehow. Maybe he'll be back. I don't know. Back to the task at hand. If I were two engines on the run, which way would I go? That way or the Great Western Way? That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> dust. There's like fireboxes. Why are you two so out of breath? Maybe they spent a little too much time under the mistletoe. <laughs> she wishes. No, I don't. I prefer men. We're running. From what? Me. Oh, oh bugger. There yes, is. you've been very naughty with your crypto and NFT scams. And yep, you've been all thievery and I... trolling. It wasn't me. It was him. My oh. god, Diesel framing a dead guy. That's so naughty. I'm going to add it to my list. <laughs> Okay, guys, wow, he's are... distracted, so let's make a break for it when I say, go! What? And, what? And well, gone. I see they've left you in the lurch. That's very bad news for you. Not only are you now the only one here, but your list is full. Does that mean you'll give me a chance to fix my evil ways? No, it means I get to break out the belt sander. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to find out once and for all what's underneath your face. Humbug. Wait, what? Ah! What? what? Oh, that's painful. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, how incredibly disappointing. Oh, I'll my God. By burning down that orphanage. After all, if they were good little boys and girls, they'd have parents, wouldn't they? Please, sir. It's the only home we have. If you leave it alone, we'll give you milk and cookies. You dare bribe Santa? I'm going to hang your corpses above the... Oh, also, he apparently teaches the naughty engines uh, lessons, but he's the naughty one for punishing them and killing them and putting them through a serious injury. So, yeah, he's the naughty one. Fireplace instead of stockings. Okay. What well, that was a lot messier than I thought it would <laughs> be. Bah, whatever. Time to end this. I've scoured just about every location on Sodor, with one exception. <coughs> He's here, isn't he? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Me too. You think our remorse will be enough to stop him? Nope. You've all been very naughty. Very naughty indeed. Except for you, Toby. This is for you. Oh, oh thank you. That's now, nice. as for the rest of you, duck. Humbug. <laughs> Whip, oh. Humbug. Oh. Eric, hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> 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 Eric is just so funny. <laughs> hamburger instead of humbug. That's funny. Oh, you're enjoying this way too much. Yeah, yes, he is. I'd almost say what you're doing is very naughty. Nice exactly. try, but I have safeguards that defend against programming paradoxes. And for trying to trigger it, I'm going to shove these up your nostrils. Oh well, my. before you do, would you like to open the present I got you? You Ooh. bought me a present? Well, you That's give very so nice much. Of it. it was time someone gave back. And Thank you very much, Toby. And I wonder is there what it be is and why it's ticking. Oh, you naughty little... <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I must have... Mary. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it that there was going to be a bomb or like an explosive or like a weapon or something. I must have known it. Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> have a happy new year. <laughs> That's a reference to Home Alone. I love that. You couldn't have done that sooner. Hey, express delivery doesn't mean instant. Well, thanks for saving our lives, Toby. Aye, especially since you're probably on the naughty list now. I know, Wait. but it was worth it to save my friends. Sometimes, yep. Toby, I think you're too good for this world. So do I, sir. <laughs> what brings you out here? Well, a lot of property was destroyed by Santa's rampage, so I have to oversee the reconstruction. But I'm also here to see Sheffield. I'm impressed by your work on the Farquhar branch and was wondering if you would like to be assigned there permanently. No, thank you, sir. I'm very happy on the Little Western. Well, too bad. We need a replacement for Thomas, and you're it. As such, we need to give you the appropriate color. No means no, fat man. Blue? Too late. Humbug. <laughs> Wait for You may have beaten me this time, 
but I'll be back when you least expect it. So expect it! Ho, ho, ho! And, and he's gonna come back for uh, next year. Well, that was interesting. That was pretty interesting. I wasn't really expecting that, and I think that the idea for the Soto Short is pretty cool. Uh, Santa engine, um, tracking down engines that have been naughty and punishing them is actually pretty cool given that he is the naughty one and he's punishing naughty engines when, when in reality, he's the naughty one. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Sheffield being assigned to Thomas's branch line sounds like a pretty good idea, though... I do think him being on the Little Western is also a good idea. So, yeah, maybe uh, Chef... Oh, wait, no. Uh, I don't think Sheffield will be on the... On the... Um, on the... Uh, on Thomas's branch line. Maybe he'll be on another branch line because we didn't see him with the Little Western in the... We didn't see him with the Little, with the little Western in any um, stories of Sodor intro. Neither did we see him on Thomas's branch line, but we did see a black tank engine, so maybe that will be Thomas's replacement in stories of Sodor. But yeah, I, I thought that this um, stories of Sodor movie, as I like to call it, was pretty cool. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.